and Aruda. The Shadow Host. Hello folks. It's Gameplay Horizon here and welcome back to my mini vlog about Eternal Evolution. Some maps in the story mode are quite hard to pass. So I discovered that you can use some heroes that are actually effective in clearing chapters. I will be using Aruda, which is also known as the Shadow Host. I will not equip him with gears because the enemies in chapter 33 you were short range. If you have some unevolved heroes, especially range heroes, you can try to test those heroes too. I will be using Taylor and Hudson as my damage dealers. Hercules as the defender, Serena as the healer and Anaruda as the crowd control. So before so much ado, let's test Anaruda. I will be using Anaruda manually in the battle so that I can set the timing on when to cast his ultimate skills. Anaruda is very effective in crowd control. What I like about him is that he creates a vast black hole in the center of the battlefield that draws enemies to the center of it for 4 seconds. The black hole continuously deals 40% up to 48% damage to enemies and then explodes to deal 120% damage, scattering all the enemies that were in the center and dealing damage to them. During casting, Shadow Host is considered to be in dominant state and cannot be affected by control skills. In the battle, Anaruda is not only a crowd control hero, he is also a buffer. He selects a front row ally with highest health as the priority target. He adds a shield that resists 280% attack damage to the target ally. After the shield is broken or expires, an explosion will occur that damages surrounding enemies by 220% up to 373% of the attack power. 60% of the damage caused by the shield explosion is converted into a healing effect to heal the shield owner. Also, when the shield explodes, it inflicts a short stun effect to enemies around. Another best thing about Anaruda is that he places an energy field in the area with most enemies. All enemy units in the energy field will take 35% up to 45% damage per second. Their speed is reduced by 10%, up to 60%. Enemies will be stunned 0.5 seconds when they are slowed down every 3 seconds. When the field expires, all enemies in the energy field will be stunned for 0.5 seconds. So guys, until here for now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode for another Spotlight Hero of Eternal Evolution.